Hello, my name is Adam Evertsson. I work at Kornamera in Gothenburg, Sweden. A snow-covered Sweden at the moment. It's February and I'm standing in front of my laptop recording another screencast. At Kornamera we love Drupal and we also want to share as much knowledge of Drupal as possible. And this screencast is one of the ways we give back to Drupal. So far we've installed a basic installation of Drupal, but chances are you want to add more functionality to your Drupal installation. And that is the extend part of Drupal. You find extend in the menu, pretty much in the center here. And this is the place where you add new functionality, new modules, plugins, components, you can name it whatever you want. But in Drupal we call it modules. There are many ways of adding new functionality to Drupal in the form of adding modules. And I'm going to show you the two easiest ways of adding new modules. The first one is to make all of the stuff happen through the GUI, the graphic user interface. First of all, you need to activate one of the modules that are shipped with Drupal. And that is the update manager module. So on the extend page of Drupal you can search by typing in update or you can scroll and find it that way. And here it is, update manager. By clicking this little box and choosing install the module is activated or installed. If you have a different language on your Drupal site this will be the, the time new translations are downloaded into Drupal automatically. When Update Manager is enabled, it does a routine check of the status of the different modules and the core of Drupal. And if there are any updates, in this case there aren't, but this, if there are any updates, this will be indicated on the page. This installation is up to date. It's only Drupal core with all its installed modules, but it is up to date. After enabling the Update Manage module, you get a new button on this page which says Install New Module. If this doesn't show up when you have activated the module, you might want to clear your cache of the website. To do so, you go to Configuration and in the development part of this page you have Performance you click clear all caches. Alright, cache is cleared. Hopefully this will show the button. Alright, so by clicking the install new module you get this page. This is actually the second stage. First you want to download or get a URL for the module you want to install. And you find the modules and themes for that part on drupal.org. In this part I'm going to choose a module to download. When I click the link I get directed to drupal.org which is the main page for the Drupal project. As you see there are many modules, over 32,000 modules. Not all of them has a Drupal 8 release because this is Drupal 8 we're dealing with. So I need to check that it is Drupal 8. So I do a search and we're down to over a thousand modules. And I want to activate the Discuss module. Discuss is a third party system for doing comments on your site. And this is it. So I click the project page and I get to this. And at the bottom of this page you have a lot of information first, but at the bottom we have this. And this is the part we want. I can either download it or I can right click and I can copy this link. I'm going to do both because I'm going to show you both ways. Alright, so we have downloaded the module, I have copied the link to the file on drupal.org, so back to this page. And either I can install from a URL, so I paste this, and this is the URL for the module on drupal.org. I can either do that, or I can choose the file and choose this one, this file which we downloaded. 
Right, I'm going to do the first one. That'll pull the file directly from Drupal.org and install it. So click install and installation was completed successfully. I don't want to install another module at the time, but I want to enable the, the, uh, the module right away. So here it is, the discuss. I'm going to install that. And once again, if I had a different language on my Drupal site, this will be the time uh, new translations are pulled into your Drupal, uh, your Drupal site. Right, so this was a problem checking available updates. Now we have a new module and I'll check if there's a new version for it. No, no, there isn't. And I would have been surprised because we pulled the latest version of the file directly from Drupal.org. But as you see, Drupal core is up to date and the discuss module is up to date. When the module has been installed or enabled, you can look it up on this, the module page or the extend page and you can click this little arrow to see if there are any permissions added to this module or you can click configure to go to the configuration page of this module. The configuration page of the module are often found on the configuration page on Drupal which is a landing page for the different configuration options you have. And you can choose either to click this link or you can go to configuration and see where you can find, in this case, the discuss module. And it's here under web services. So just click this and you come to the configuration page. And depending on the different modules, you have different options, of course. So by clicking install new module and either choosing a URL from drupal.org or you can choose a module which you have downloaded, this is one of the ways and perhaps the easiest way of installing modules in Drupal. But there is another way which I'm also going to show you. And for that we need to go to the folder which holds your Drupal installation, your website files, so to speak. And in my case, I need to go to this. And this is your Drupal folder. All these files are the Drupal system and they need to be here uh, for Drupal to work, to, to function. And here you have a folder called modules. And right now, since we've installed the discuss module, this is where it ends up. But if we want to download a different module now, for example, we can go back to our drupal.org and instead of discuss module, we choose token module. We have this one and we download this and unpack it. We can actually just drag and drop this into the module folder in your Drupal installation. And when we reload the extend part of Drupal, the extend page, and search for token, there it is. And we can activate it and install it. You can install themes the same way. You just click install new module or themes and either paste the URL or upload your downloaded zip file uh, to this installation or you place it in your Drupal installation manually but not in the modules folder but in your themes folder. And this is empty right now since we haven't downloaded any themes. All right, so I've showed you two ways of downloading modules and themes into Drupal and um, you actually choose which way you want to use. There are other ways of downloading modules and themes into Drupal, but these are the two kinds I will show you right now. Thank you for watching this screencast. Please comment on the guides and screencasts we have put together on our website and YouTube channel. All right, goodbye.